Thank you for subscribing to the Extra Mile Podcast. Help us out by leaving a review and a five-star rating wherever you download the show. After leaving a review, slide on into our DMs over on social media at Mississippi DOT and let us know. As a thank you, we have compiled a Google Map list of all of our guests' favorite spots to eat on Mississippi highways. It is our gift to you. Seriously, you guys are the best. We could not do the show without you, and we greatly appreciate the support. Remember, drive smart out there on Mississippi highways. That's nearly $2 billion, and that's money that's going to be spent on improving safety, enhancing mobility, and improving economic growth and development in the state of Mississippi. Yeah, and with this historic funding from the legislature, new construction will be popping up all over Mississippi. MDOT presents the Extra Mile Podcast. Men and women of the Department of Transportation are up to the task and up to make sure that we deliver a product that the taxpayers uh, can be proud of. So I'm ready for us to go to work. Welcome in to the latest edition of the Extra Mile Podcast Legislative Session presented by the Mississippi Department of Transportation. I'm MDOT De- Deputy Director of Public Affairs, Paul Catool. And as always, I'm joined by my co-host, Will Kraft. He is the Director of Public Affairs here at the agency. And Will, very excited. We have a first-timer with us today, State Representative Steve Massengill. He represents District 13. That is Benton, Lafayette, Marshall, Union, and Pontotoc counties. And he is the uh, brand-new House Transportation Chair. Right. So very excited to speak with him today. So first, first go around, this is typically what we do. We want to know a little bit about you. So kind of tell us how you got into being an elected official. Man, it just sort of just sort of happened, to be honest with you. Uh, there you go. I guess 13 years ago now, my, my friend Jack Gadd was in here in the house, in, in the seat, and uh, he decided he was not running again. And I think about seven people signed up to run as a Democrat, and I signed up as a Republican as the only one because uh, no Republican had ever won that seat, so they didn't think anyone could. And uh, so... That's sort of how that happened, and somehow, some way, I wound up winning. So, <laughs> fifty-one to forty-nine. So that was, oh, wow. a, yeah, it was pretty close. Counts. Pretty close. And yeah. now have been our uh, our vice chairman for transportation for the whole time. Yeah, twelve years, I think, minus a day or two, because the speaker had nominated someone. Jerry Turner, I think, was okay. originally the vice chair, and I think they made a new committee and moved him over, and somehow I moved right into that. So, been working with. Of course, Robert Johnson the first four years, and Charles Busby the last eight. So. I was going to say, got a lot of got a lot of Charles Busby in there. Yeah, the so. commissioner, commissioner chairman. Yeah, uh, however you say it. There. Yeah, there so you hopefully go. I learn a little bit. Oh yeah, I no doubt. I'm very sure, very sure. So that's just all how it all has played out so far, and we'll see, you know, going forward. That's right. Now tell tell us, you know, you're in transportation in in the world for sure, in the in the public. Uh, politics arena and the public policy side of things how about the private side so you, you, now you guys work in the industry as well too, uh, right? we do my cousin actually owns big m transportation okay. up in blue mountain mississippi uh and i've worked for him for a while now and just sort of do the government relations public affairs stuff for him and it's all been good and i'm sure that they appreciate as well as we do uh you having that private sector insight to the way things work out yeah there. it does seem to help uh, just knowing a little bit about the business world and how important the roads are to us uh yeah definitely helps sure. so i mean it's it's key you got to have good roads and bridges to get goods and goods and services where they need to be That's right exactly right Exactly. So. Especially way up there in that northern part of the county, man. <laughs> yeah. You can't, can't, can't hardly get there from here. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, my line actually goes to the very top of the state, so uh, in Benton County. So, Well, and, you, and actually mentioned that. We were just talking right before the show started, so you picked up a little bit this time around, right? Yes, yes. I've had, of course, a little bit of Benton, a little bit of Marshall, a little bit of Union. I have, have a good bit of Lafayette. Then I actually picked up uh, three boxes in Pontotoc, probably about 3,000 people there. Okay. So. Mine's scattered out pretty good. There's some lucky folks down there, uh, yeah. up there in Pontotoc, <laughs> get picked up right there. And talking about the uh, the uh, district wise, sorry for I didn't put any context in that question there, but yeah, picked up a little bit of Pontotoc. So good stuff, man. Good stuff. Yeah. yeah there you go. There you go. So uh, you know, serving as uh, chair now. So is that a little yeah. different? What's the? It what's is the a little there? different. Uh, just going through the bills, seeing what you know <clears throat> you hope to see get maybe you know get get a ways down the road. 
and some of those bills you don't want to get down the road. So luckily I get to have a lot of insight on that now. Uh, I, I do have some subcommittees. I've assigned bills to them last week, and uh, I know some of them are working on bringing a few of those out. So anxious to see how that goes. Plan on meeting Wednesday at 11 o'clock if all my subcommittee chairmen get their stuff done. <laughs> uh, or, or not, uh, but we'll <laughs> – Definitely planning on getting a meeting again this week, trying to move a few bills out. So, Any big Bill. things? I know it's still early on, but any big things taking form right now? You know, it's, it's always, you know, naming highways. If we're, gonna, oh, yeah. if we're not going to do anything, we're going to name a few highways. Uh, yeah, well, we, we're looking at a few things. Uh, I, I've been very interested in this. I've got a lot of constituents who are on having these utility-type side-by-sides, you oh, know, yeah, making yeah. them road legal. So we're trying to figure out how we can do that that's, you know, it's, it's a safety thing, I, sure. I know, and, you know, you get a little pushback because of that. But if we can tag them and, you know, make them road legal, you know, blinkers, headlights, windshield wipe, all of that, you know, some of these things. Now, somebody showed me a picture one other day. It was $56,000. Oh, my goodness. So, you wow. know, some of these things. Are, a side by side? A side by side, yes. Wow. Yeah, we have one that we actually, you know, we had to ride to our fields, check our cows, so. You know, it was not fifty something thousand dollars, <laughs> but still, let's clarify. <laughs> it's 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 still a side by side that you know gets you from point A to point B, and just a lot of people, you know, really would love to have those legalized. And I've I've got two different bills, sort of looking at maybe just fifty five and under, and another one also is looking at gravel road and non stripe roads. So uh, well, that's what I was curious. You're talking about public, like all public roads, highways. You're talking about local roads. Like local well, local roads, not any, you know, interstates or right. control access, but definitely, I would definitely like to see them at least on gravel roads. You know, these people get on them and ride them all the time now on gravel. So, and I still have gravel roads in my county, so they ride them a lot. So we're, we're going to look at that, you know, bottom line, you got to have the votes. So we're looking at that. Is that different from uh, the uh, golf carts? I guess it is different. Yes, okay. yeah, so it would it definitely. Yes, yeah, different, different language. So. Okay. So we're looking at that. So that's one thing. Uh, you know, there's just you know, I, I probably got thirty bills here. Of course, probably fifteen of them are naming roads. So you know, just just looking at a lot of different things. How about the? Uh, I, I know one thing that Director White has has mentioned before. I don't know how. How far along that's come, but talking about sustainable revenue uh, for the future, is that conversation taking place? Well, yet? It's, it's it's taking place. It's just it's just hard to figure out exactly how sure. we can, you know, do that without saying the word tax. Yep, I know. <laughs> sure. yeah, you're, you're nobody right. wants to hear that word. So, but yeah, we're looking at some stuff. So, hopefully, come up with something. Are you are you you think that that'll get solved this session? I mean, I, I, and I say that with understanding the, the enormity of that task. Uh, it's hard to say. Sure, it really is. I mean, we got we got some pretty big elephants in the room this yeah. session, and uh, but that is one of them. So there you go. Just appreciate being thought of. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> absolutely. Sure. Done a lot yeah. of good things for MDOT, and I know we'll continue to pay attention to that. So, kind of outside of transportation, uh, I know you probably have other kind of legislative things on your agenda. Anything else you're kind of looking at, big picture? You know that. that honestly, I've. I really have dove into the transportation stuff. I don't have a lot of other bills that I'm looking, you know, to push, but I am on state affairs, and that's pretty. That's a new committee, and I think it's going to be a pretty big committee. I think we're going to handle a lot of the bigger stuff, may handle the PERS, whatever we're yeah. going to do with that. I've heard so, that talk a couple of times. Yeah, so uh, I, I'm sort of waiting to see. Of course, I'm on appropriation, so there's plenty of stuff to do. Yeah, that's a doozy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So <laughs> that would keep up your time for sure. So I'm trying not to spread myself too thin, just, you know, just sort of focusing on that. Sure, sure. Well, look, yeah, I, can, I, I appreciate that, you know. I don't think that there's any reason to come over to the Capitol and just file 100 bills, you know. Now, you know, I, probably the most I have filed is maybe 10 bills, and I may may get a few more than that this year, but not – it's not going to be many. I don't have 10 good ideas. Yeah, you know well, I mean? I <laughs> and sometimes these come from other people. You know, your constituents <laughs> always have good ideas. That's right. That's so right. you have to sort of, you know, try to appease them. Oh, yeah. And I think we've, we've got, is uh, is the roundabout, the 72? That's up there, right? That's yeah. In, it's in Benton County. County. Yes, oh, it yes. is. Are, yeah. Have you been through there? Uh, I've been through it, but now I, I hadn't been, it's not finished 100%, is it? I don't think so. Okay. Well, I was what I was waiting on. It's getting close, though. It's getting close. I knew, uh, I guess I went through it around Christmas, and uh, it was, it looked like it was pretty close. So it should I'm be. anxious to see how it plays out. 
That, that's the high speed one. Is that yeah. Right? Yes. yes. Yeah, I believe they're they're uh, finishing up a few like cosmetic things, checking a few boxes, but uh, hearing good things from our end. So. Okay. Well, I, I'm I. Uh, I told him I was not passing judgment until it was done, <laughs> and we see how it see how it plays out. So, absolutely, that'll be good. So, uh, you were saying there are gonna there are a few more new members on the committee. Uh, yes, I, I should have brought my list. Oh, six oh, okay. or seven new members on the list on, on the transportation committee this year. Yes, excellent. How do you kind of get them up to speed? Well, you know this. Uh, all the new members at some point have to do a bill at the well, so I'm trying to. Uh, help them along with that so uh, trying to give everyone of them a bill to do it well so they do you remember what your first i'd have i do not remember <laughs> 12 years ago it, you know you're it's very intimidating i can uh, imagine you know uh especially the first time and uh, and even even after that it's still intimidating especially if you're not a lawyer if you're a lawyer i think it's much easier i can believe that they you know they're used Definitely. to that argument and answering questions and all of that and uh so it's, it's definitely intimidating your first time for sure so I can believe anxious it. to see how they handle some of the stuff we give them so we had a couple do some thursday and they, they did really well oh wow. i didn't realize you were already taking up yeah we had some. two new members uh did bills thursday they awesome. did so going to get it out of the way yeah get it I was, if i was doing it i'd want to go on and get it over <laughs> with for sure very nice. So any anything other uh, legislatively you want to touch on or any message you want to get out there to your constituents? Uh, you know, we just hope to keep going the way we've been going in transportation. Um, you know, the last couple of years we've did done really well with the budget and the, yeah. you know, the one-time monies for projects. And so I hope we can, you know, stay the course with all that for the roads and bridge. I know I have a couple – I got a phone call. Just one of my supervisors just called me just then coming in about Highway 30. Yeah, okay. I know it's on the plan to get done. So he's he was wearing me out. He said, "Man, I'm getting worn out about this road." <laughs> That's how it works. And I like, well, sure. I drive it every week, so I I get it. You get it. I yeah. get it. So yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Well, well look, that, that's all fantastic stuff. And look, before we get any further, we appreciate you and everything you're doing over there for us and everything you've done for the last 12 years. So we're looking forward to that continued partnership. Um, you're definitely a friend of transportation and the industry. We appreciate that very much. Yes. Um, Definitely am. So. To, uh, to get to the end here, uh, to, a little fun question to wrap things up. And I got, a, we're going to throw a curveball, a new segment, <laughs> if you will, today. Uh, we, we love talk, talk about uh, food and, and music. You gave us a wonderful uh, suggestion when we first got started. So we like to ask, you know, have you been to any great concerts lately, any, any really great shows? And you have just come back, I guess, from one that's yes, longer. Yes, Friday night at the Biloxi Coliseum, I got to see Toto and Journey, and they were Oh, fabulous. That's incredible. Yeah. And so. what do you say? They've been doing it 45 years. Yeah, well, Toto, 45th year, and Journey's 50th year. That's so, crazy. yeah, they both, and it's funny, they, they tour together because, and it, so they, the lead singer for Toto, and I can't remember his name, but his daughter married one of the Journey members' oh, son. Oh, okay. Wow. So they that. got a tie there, you know, a tie in together. So, I did not know yeah, that. Yeah, I didn't know it either. Music but, trivia question for yeah, us today. Yeah, there you go. So, you go. Uh, but they both were very good, very good. Okay. Yeah. I'm probably going to ask you about some food. There we go. We'll, we'll go food. Okay, I do have one question. So, Journey is Don't Stop Believing, right? No, yeah. Okay, that's the big song. Okay. That is. That, well, one you know, many. yeah, that's funny. They, you know, they probably played, I don't know, Iron 30 Minutes. I think there was only two songs that I did not mm -hmm. know, and I'm sure those are new. Uh, but everything else... I mean, I got videos of probably every song they sang on my Love phone. I, I could do a Great Assists <laughs> album with them for sure. Yeah, it's pretty easy with them. Toto, a little bit harder. They have, you know, four or five. Yeah. Africa. That's oh, about yes. the only one I know. I think. Uh -huh. okay. Rosanna. Yeah. Don't judge me. Hold the line. I mean, they, they, they got some good stuff, too. So. Well, actually, after this, I'm going to hit up Spotify and power through the rest of the workday <laughs> with, there you go. with some journey. So, uh, like Will was just talking about, big food people here. Who isn't in Mississippi? Uh, exactly. Do you have any favorite restaurants around the – any really anywhere in the state or here in Jackson? Uh, yes, I, I do have a well. I have a good many At, back home. Uh, we like uh, coffee's catfish house. Lots of catfish. Uh, yeah, yes. yeah. Uh, Marshall Damn. Steakhouse over there in Marshall County. Oh yeah. Uh, and I have some friends that own uh, Craven Catfish over in uh, Ecru. So uh, I'm sorry, Sherman's where they're at. And uh, so those are good at home and down here. Uh, Lou's, Walker's, Kessler, you know, they're all very good. Would you say you're a steak man? You know, I, I try not to eat, but maybe one a week. Whew. That's tough. <laughs> one a week, okay. That's tough. That's good. You know, if you if you don't watch it, when you are when you leave home and you eat out a lot, you'll mm -hmm. gain weight. Yeah. 
and uh, I tried not to gain too much. It's a so tough task. It is. It is a hard job. It is very hard. No so our, our new question we want to throw into the segment here, because I think you got a, you guys are really into cars, or at least I think you got one very special to you, right? That, that was, a, it was a present, maybe? Oh, yeah, yeah. My, my wife turned uh, 50 a few years ago, and uh, so I bought her a convertible, a red convertible 50th anniversary Camaro. Whoa. Uh, yeah. So. It is beautiful. She loves it, and she don't hardly ever drive it, y'all. I mean, I look at it every day. I walk out my door, <laughs> sitting in the carport, and I crank it at least once a week. And you know, it's good maintenance. Yeah, so uh, she she'll drive it to church <laughs> and maybe to town just to keep the oil yeah. going. That's yeah, right. yeah. Well, look, the question is, do you remember your first car? Oh yes. What was yes. that? I had a '67 Camaro. Oh, well, look at there. So yeah. getting back to the dream. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Was it yeah. as beautiful and performed as well as the one you currently have? I- I wish I had it back. I oh, really yeah. do. Yeah. Uh, it was beautiful. Uh, probably didn't perform like this one does, but it was a beautiful car. Very nice. Yeah. So. Very nice. That's a good answer. We'll have, to yeah. get a, uh, we'll have to get a picture of the old Camaro and the new Camaro put those up. Yeah, I would have to find one of that one. It's, But I, it, it was a pretty car. That's a good thing. Yeah. There's yeah. some good answers right there. All right, <laughs> Journey, right after this, I'm going to go hit it up. Chairman Maskill, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks hey, for coming in. Thank you all. I loved it. Absolutely. We'll catch up with you soon. Go ahead and close out the show right now. Thank you to our listeners, our viewers, for tuning into the Extra Mile podcast. You can watch and listen to episodes by visiting goem.com forward slash the extra mile. Be sure to follow us on social media at Mississippi DOT is the handle there. We want to thank, thank our producer, our editor, Drew Hall, who does everything behind the scenes for us. And remember, drive smart out there on Mississippi highways.